So we're live. We're back. And uh, today we're going to go a little bit heavier. Talk men's mental health. Uh, first, I cover some of you know what I what I learned from generations before me. Men have to make certain sacrifices, just like women have to make certain sacrifices. They weigh differently. Not always going to be the same. It's not always going to be evenly. But I feel like in total, men are told to sacrifice and really not to speak on the sacrifices. They're really just supposed to hold them in, deal with them, you know, never let anybody see any type of weakness. And that's just, it's a hard way to deal with things. It's a really hard way to deal with things. So, Vindo. And dealing with things like that lead to things like aggression, pointless violence, alcoholism, drug abuse. These things are big, big issues in men's communities, but too many people have too much pride to speak on. Them. And really, my whole motivation for today is Men's Mental Health Month was not but what, a month ago. How you doing, Jared? Not but the, but a month ago. Mm, I saw posts from people that I know that mentioned it. I didn't. I didn't see one commercial on TV. I didn't see. I didn't even see one online news article mentioning. Oh, hey, it's June. It's Men's Mental Health Month. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. It's just kind of like you know. Hey, we gave you all this month, but we're not really going to say anything about it. And unfortunately, if it was a women's month, it would it would be it would go crazy. You'd have you'd have so many celebrations that you would think it was Christmas every single day. But I mean, that's partially on us men. We have things that we're, are supposed to celebrate us, and we don't make it a big deal. So. Nobody else makes it a big deal. Everybody else thinks, okay, it's not a big deal to them. It shouldn't be a big deal to us. And I feel like we need to change that. We, we need to start making sure we celebrate ourselves. We get other people to celebrate ourselves. If we're the only ones celebrating ourselves, it is kind of, it is kind of pointless. So, you know, sacrifice that men make, it should be, I wouldn't say glorified, but it shouldn't be vilified when you mentioned that you had to sacrifice certain things for your family and those who you love. Uh, I just don't understand the issues with some people just feeling like men should just play our role. And I mean, that leads me to the silence. You hear so, you know, you hear so little about what men are going through until something drastic ha happens we ourselves need to speak up and if somebody decides that they don't like what we're saying or they have an issue with the way that we speak up for ourselves oh well because if we don't do it apparently nobody will this men suffering in silence right now they wake up go to work do what they got to do they come home they do what everybody else needs and they go to sleep and they go back to work and that, that's just their, their daily cycle. They feel unseen. They feel unheard. They don't feel anybody really cares what they want. They don't feel anybody cares what they need. I'm not going to be one of those guys. No way in the world will I be one of those guys. I've gone through too much already in life to just sit there, let somebody mess me over, and I'm just going to watch and, you know, be silent because I'm supposed to be a guy, I'm supposed to be able to take it. You know, oh, you know, aren't you man enough to deal with this? To hell with that. I'm man enough to stand up for me, mine, and whoever that I feel that I need to. And I mean, that's that's purely all that matters. Who are, I'm willing to stand up for me and mine, that's everything to me. I mean, I don't like to intimidate women or anything like that, but I mean, if it gets out of hand, hey, the tigers gotta do what the tigers gotta do. I would say a lion, but I mean, 
let's be honest, the middle line is lazy. And eventually some younger line comes and gets them up out of there anyway. So that's just not going to be me. It's not my style.